No bond tonight for a white father and son accused of shooting and killing a black man in South Georgia. This case sparking national outrage after video of the shooting was released publicly. Travis and Gregory McMichael are both charged with murdering Ahmad Arbery while confronting him about neighborhood break-ins. Rebecca Lindstrom joins us now live to explain why the judge says both men should remain in jail. At a bond hearing, you must consider whether a person is a flight risk or poses a danger to the community. But a judge must also look at whether that person could interfere with the investigation or witnesses. And that is where this judge had concerns. Court does not uh, intend to grant bond. As to the judge had bond. different reasons, but the end result was the same. No bond for Greg and Travis McMichael. For the father, it was body camera footage from officers at the scene. Greg McMichael was a Glynn County deputy, but twice in his career, according to testimony, he lacked the training hours to make arrests. The second time he lost his certification, he was given desk duty until his retirement. But the state argued you'd never know that by the way he talked with investigators. This is the coroner asking questions of law enforcement. Does he live around here? Not that I know of. The victim? He, he makes frequent trips to the neighborhood and gets caught on video cameras like every third or fourth night breaking into places and nobody's been able to catch him. Prosecutors then played a message McMichael left for the district attorney from the crime scene. My son and I have been involved in the shooting and uh, I need some advice right away. Please call me. Greg McMichael's defense argued he was not a flight risk with family and a medical condition that kept him tied to the community. A man does not wake up one morning and become a violent, race-motivated killer. They also pushed back against the tone of the case, telling the judge this was about self-defense and the right to protect your property. But for the judge, it came back to influence. Mr. McMichael uh, was willing to place the, uh, the law in his own hands that felt that he had the ability to influence an ongoing investigation. And uh, I think the, the facts are still developing on this, but possibly that was one of the reasons why this case took so long to get to where it is right now. Tonight at 6, we'll hear why the judge denied Travis McMichael's bond and hear from Ahmaud Arbery's family after they left the court. For those not familiar with the case, here are the facts as we know them. People had been trespassing at a home under construction in this neighborhood for some time. Some security video shows Aubrey entered the home the day, uh, the, the day of the shooting and also possibly in December. Now, the homeowner says it appears he was getting a drink of water and didn't take anything. Other security videos show children, another man, a couple also entering the home at various times. The homeowner says he never enlisted the McMichaels in any way to help stop this. Now, this case has sparked allegations of racism and was one of the focal points of demonstrations in Atlanta over the summer, calling for an end to systemic racism. Yesterday's portion of the hearing focused on whether the McMichaels may have been motivated by racism. You can watch that testimony in full on the 11 Alive YouTube channel.